Welcome to the third tutorial on the Bootstrap Example intro uh, template files that I've created for you guys. This one is kind of a fun one. We're going to see how we can use Bootswatch to automatically um, change the look and feel of the site. So in order to get there, I'm going to go to my Bootstrap bookmarks, go to Bootstrap Example intro, and then go to Bootswatch which brings up this branch of this particular project. You can see it says Bootswatch here. And then if I get a little more, I'm going to go download zip. And if I look in the uh, downloads directory, which magically appeared for me, I'm going to see this folder. I'm going to move it out to my top level directory and rename it. Um, let's say I'm doing a, a site for uh, FUBAR, for Baz, so we'll call this Baz site. Okay, and then I'm going to import that into Eclipse. So I can say import, this is all, again, because the dot project definition has been committed, existing projects into workspace, select root directory, top level, scroll down to Baz site, open, Bootstrap is so we'll say finish. And once we're here, again, of course, we want to rename our project to be Baz site. Okay, so now we have our Baz site, and we can look at this, and here it is. And um, of course, as always, we're going to want, oops, we're going to want to um, add this to live reload so that we can get refreshing. So that's done, and then let's load it in. So I do Control O, back to Johnson, Baz site, index.html. There we have it. Enable live reload, and let's change something to make sure. Add me up for a few more things, uh, a few more exclamation points. Save it out, and now we can see that in fact we're getting our page redisplayed. Okay. So. Um, what you can notice here is that the basic change we've made is we're loading something different from NetDNA. We're not loading Bootstrap from the Bootstrap directory, we're loading from the Bootswatch directory. So what I'm going to do to kind of show you the difference is I'm going to just edit this. Hopefully I can do it without making too many mistakes. Bootstrap, CSS, save it out. Okay, and look, now we're basically back to the basic template, the very first template that I was showing you guys in the first tutorial. Okay? You know, Amelia is different. It doesn't say hello world, it says hello Amelia, Amelia. but other than that, this should look basically identical to what uh, we saw the first time when we load the basic bootstrap files. So what's changed here? So what I want to show you is this bootswatch page. Okay? And the idea here is that this guy has gone off and created some alternative theming of the uh, of, of bootstrap for 3.0. And you can see he's got about a dozen things here which provide you know, some interesting kind of shrink-wrapped uh, modifications of um, a bootstrap. And all you have to do to get these changes to your site is change bootstrap to bootswatch, OK, in our CD, because NetDNA is hosting the bootswatch files as well as the bootstrap. So change bootstrap to bootswatch, change CSS, to the name of your theme, okay? So, you know, I, I chose Amelia f somewhat randomly here. Okay, and then, just put this here. So now I'm gonna save this out, okay? And all of a sudden we've got Amelia. Okay, now the fun thing is, let's look at some other ones. So another one is Cerulean. So all I'll do to get that theme is do that and bingo we've got cerulean you know that isn't really as cool let's find one that's let's try cyborg that looks kind of interesting cyborg 
go back to our project and uh, save it out. And that's what Cyborg looks like. Okay, and you know, we can, I mean, you know, we can keep going. I don't know that we really need to. Um, let's try United just because that looks kind of colorful. And it's got this different font. So save that out. Let's go look here. And there it is in the um, United font. Okay, so as you get more sophisticated with Bootstrap, You'll want, you'll maybe want to develop your own themes, and you know there's there's other Bootstrap themes out there on the net. You know you can pay for them if you really want. Um, but what I kind of like about this is that um, if you you know if if you see one of these themes, these are also modifiable, so you can override in your um, you know in your style.css. You can make changes to um, the definitions in here as well. Um, and so if you, if you like Amelia, but you actually just don't like that particular font, you can, you know, you can change that. Um, and so my hope is that this gives you, when you're doing mockups, this gives you an easy way to very quickly get away from the default bootstrap sets of colors and so forth um, and add a little interest to your pages with, you know, kind of completely minimal effort on your part.